So uh, we, I've put the uh, conrods on now. Uh, and they're all done up, and we've protected the uh, protected the actual conrods themselves with uh, masking tape. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to assemble the actual crankcases. Uh, so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put a lot of assembly lube on the bearings, the main bearings, and on the face on the inner races or a lot of assembly lube on them and then we've got the camshaft and we'll be putting assembly lube on that and on the bushes uh, in the crank cases uh, the crank uh, the camshaft uh, I sent it off to the uh, engineers uh, along with some other bits uh, for his opinion uh, on replacement and so on and he's, he thought this was fine and, and he's, there was a the uh, advance and retard bolt sheared off inside and so he's got that out and they said the camshaft's fine so that's good what he did do was he decided that the main bearings did need replacing so we got those and we've also got I also sent off the tappets or cam followers and uh, he again said no he thought they needed replacing so we've got We'll come on to those later, but we've got new cam followers, new tappets, we've got a new main bear and new main bearings, but we've got the <coughs> existing uh, camshaft. Okay, jolly D. Um, so yeah, we're going to lube everything up. Don't forget to put the camshaft in. We'll be doing all this obviously in a minute, uh, and I'm going to put uh, well seal around as the, on the mating surfaces. I always use well seal. Those of you who watch these videos regularly know that I swear by well seal, so that's the only thing I'd ever use. Other people, you know, recommend other things, you know, that's um, absolutely fine. This is just what I use. I've always used it and it's always been great, so I've never seen the need to change. Okay, uh, I think that's about it. We'll, we'll get on and start, uh, start getting things sorted. Okay, we're nearly ready to uh, assemble the uh, crank cases, but just before we do, one thing I've been meaning to mention that uh, you have a, a number stamped here, 614. Okay, on the uh, time inside crankcase. There we go. And then you'll have the same number, so, uh, sorry, on the drive side and on the time inside crankcase, assuming we may get some focus coming in. There we go, same number, 614 on the timing side crankcase and that's because the crankcases are a pair they're always a match pair uh, because they're, they're put together in the factory and then line board as, as one and so that's why it's often difficult if you've got a broken crankcase you know you can't you should really replace them in in pairs if you can because you know they, they, they they're a match pair okay so that's what those numbers and you'll find just about on every British bike you'll always find those numbers uh, stamped because they're, they're all much the same they're all put together and line board in the factory okay then I've got well seal on the mating faces we've put the uh, assembly lube on the main bearings and on the uh, camshaft bearing on the drive side and on all I've put it on the camshaft bearings but also on the lobes as well because we need to do that later on, might as well do it now, we've got a bit of access, I'll, I'll add some more later on. Uh, and we've also got um, lube on the inner race of the crankshaft on the drive side. So uh, we're now going to lower the crankshaft, hopefully, in uh, down into the drive side uh, crankcase. The main thing is to make sure the conrods are at the top, obviously, not on the sides. Yeah. Yeah. Come bit. There we go. And Conrod's nicely in position. Then we get the uh, camshaft. And we put that in. It's all, as I say, we've already lubed that. So that goes down into the drive side yeah. 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 yeah there we go just 
making sure it's fully home. Uh, then we've got the uh, thrust washer or whatever on the camshaft uh, and it's dished. So the dished side goes to the worm drive, flat side up towards the casing. We've got assembly loop on the camshaft. I'll put assembly loop now on the uh, inner race for the uh, timing side. I've already got it in the, uh, I've already got it on the main bearing in the timing side. And what I need to do is put some lube on the camshaft bush. Yeah, oh, whilst we're doing this, camshafts, yeah, I mean, there has been a history of bad camshafts, you know, from Norton and for repro parts and so on. I think uh, they're expensive. You know, if the camshaft was going to go, it'd have gone by now. Even some genuine factory ones weren't made properly. I don't think they were hardened properly. Um, you can get, you know, more sporty ones. I think LP Williams one in particular. But I think you have to modify the case slightly because the cam's that much higher, it catches on the case. For my money, you know, for everyday riding and so on, I think, I think that's fine. And, you know, again, if you're going racing and stuff, you probably want to change your camshaft, but... You know, uh, for everyday Sunday riding, if your camshaft's good, then stick with it. That'd be that'd be my uh, view. Other opinions are available. We're going to put the uh, time inside kind of case down to meet the uh, dry side, and we should have the cases together then. We've got well seal on. The advantage of well seal is it never ever hardens, never goes off. So you don't have to worry about tightening things up and getting things done before it sets because it never sets. Um, so that's good. Right, just checking I've done everything. We've all got lube on, got the camshaft in. We've got the conrods pointing to the top. We've got the, uh, the, uh, the studs in, which I didn't have in before, uh, in the time inside crank case. I think we're all done. We're all lubed up. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we've just got... The problem here is, is locating. We've got to locate the dowels and the studs and the camshaft and the crankshaft. The, from my experience, these uh, studs... They're never quite sort of straight and they uh, tend to foul. You know, they don't want to go in. Well, they start going in, but they'll tighten up. But, you know, they will, they will go in eventually. All right, so first thing, get the camshaft in. Yeah. No. There we go. There we go. Right, camshaft. Yeah. Uh, studs, yep. Conrod's not fouling, yep. Just give it a tap down. There we go. Jolly good. Very first thing I'll do is to check the crankshaft. Yeah, and it's all nice and smooth. Then it is. Uh, if the uh, and and when we tighten it, when we tighten it up, I'll check it again. If um, if you tighten everything up and the crankshaft suddenly locks up, it's almost certainly that there's one of the main bearings is not fully home. Normally, the inner race is on the crankshaft, um, and you know just just one thou out, it won't run. When you clamp everything up, it won't run smoothly. Um, but at the moment we're fine um, but as I say when we tighten it up I'll check again if it's not uh, if it doesn't turn freely it's almost certainly because one of the bearings hasn't been inserted 100% fully good good that's all looking good right I'm going to start 
Uh, I'm going to put the uh, crank, uh, some of the crankshaft, crankcase bolts in, um, and then we're going to mate it to the engine cradle. But I'll get the, I'll get some of the crankcase bolts in now. Okay, uh, there we go. I've uh, I've put in most of the crank case bolts I need to order a, a new set uh, but the crankshaft I've tightened up all the ones we've got um, and the uh, crankshaft is going really nicely uh, big end you know big ends are really nice as well you know on the con rods obviously also check the camshaft is turning nicely which this is you know always check after every Everything you do, that, that everything is working well. But I'm very, very pleased with that. It's really smooth, really nice. 